uh, huh. set with uh, that we got for free, and it's in pretty bad shape. But we're gonna hook up uh, the CRT tester and see if there's any usable parts on it, at least. Yeah, my friend Chris uh, W71 picked this up off eBay today up in Hollywood. Would you say Melrose and Vine or something? Got a couple broken six. What are those AQ5s? Yeah, look at the way the tuner. So where's the channel selector? Oh, look at Isn't the. Isn't that bizarre? That, like it's got some kind of make. Well, yeah, it's up at the linkage. top. Where's the KCS number? Oh, it's a KCS 104. That's in pretty bad shape. Well, look at the upside down circuit boards. The circuit boards are upside down. The components are on the bottom. Oh yeah. This is pretty, uh, pretty abused, man. 1957 date code on the CRT. It looks like 5735. Is it a rebuilt? Looks like it. Really? Hmm. Wow, you're right. All stuff is all. Uh, maybe not. So it's a pretty high hour set. Uh, I don't know. Let's get the tester on it and see what we got. You'd be surprised some of these high hour sets had new newer CRTs in them and then they were retired although it doesn't look like that's the case with this one. This one looks like it's uh Yeah, it's coming up very slowly. Not much uh emissions left on it. How'd the flyback look? It's getting dark out of here. Still has its wax it's on it. Pretty decent, huh? Bad. Oh, the, the yoke is unplugged. I did that. Oh, okay. Wow, well, look at that. Hoping that I could get the chassis out to lighten it to get it in the truck, but it was just too uh, too inter interconnected with the tuner over there. That would have to come out. Take a look at the. Ooh. It's got a two way or three way speakers? Three way. It's got a six by nine and then two. Two tweeters. Yeah. Two turntables and a microphone. Well, I think uh, we're gonna. Oh, the channel selector is on the side, kind of like a. Uh... We're gonna try to bring this up, I think. Uh, right. We just plug it in gung ho and just let it rip. Yeah, go we're for it. Hook everything up. Let's do it, man. We don't have much to lose. We don't have much emission here. Okay. It would produce a picture, but it'd probably be all smeared and washed out. So yeah, plug everything back in and let's just bring the smoke in. Bring the smoke out. The um, CRT has come up into the good range, man. It's almost up to one milliamp. For a good three-way high After about speaker. ten minutes. Okay, you're rolling? Yeah. Let's turn it on. RCA Victor has got a pull-down door. Yeah, we've just applied power. And we have absolutely nothing. D O A. Wait, what is this? Okay, no. No activity at all. We'll have to get into it to see why. Mm, quiet. So no 500 watt halogen, right? Looks like we got an open power switch. Well, it's not powering up, but this thing is just crawl up under it. It's just loaded with wax capacitors. And I like how the circuit boards are upside down. That's kind of cool. This thing's actually kind of cool. Oh, where's that? Where's that belt? We found the belt that drives the uh, the, floor, isn't it? the uh, channel indicator up there. Where did it go? Yeah, here's the belt that uh, drives the channel indicator at the top. Okay, here we go. Ooh, there okay, we, we go. Okay, we got filaments. Yep. Oh, 
High voltage, huh? No. Was that the tick shot? No, that was me kicking something. Ooh, vertical. I hear the vertical. There the high voltage came up. We got anything? Not yet. Nothing, cause I hear high voltage. Let me get the high. Let me get the. Uh... So we got eight kilovolts here, about ten. That should be a, That should be enough to produce. But we we we're not. There's nothing lighting up in here. No. What's going on with so that? Maybe, there's... maybe we put it on wrong. So measuring the voltage on the filament is only 1.6 volts, so we must have a bad wire here or something. So let's check that out real quick because it should just be in parallel with all the other filaments. So we can both post it and look like idiots. Okay, so there's a TV phono switch there, and um, it was in the wrong position. Yeah, so we're was... gonna try again. Why would that cut the filament to the CRT off? Well, maybe it won't. Well, obviously it did, because there it goes, it's glowing. Maybe we'll have audio now. That's right, we had audio before, but no. Well, crackling, yeah, yeah. crackling. Yeah, the amp, but no. Why would it have high voltage though in phono? Mm, and just turn yeah. the what a waste of turn the CRT out, out. That and now it probably doesn't have high voltage in TV. Yeah, it does. I hear it there. Just came up. Anything? Pots don't turn real easy, you know. Either. Turn the vertical hold, you're way too slow, I can hear it. To the right? Okay. Yeah, there you go. Oh, a any any light from the no, CRT? Nothing yet. No static, huh? So well, nothing yet, but we'll keep working at it. We got an IF tube down. Yeah, but none of that should cause it just to be totally pitched. Black. I mean, uh, my Packard Bell was. It's we have getting louder with the horizontal. Yeah, I hear it squealing. It's the frequency is way too low. Jeez, it's painful, man. Well, Go adjust the this horizontal. One looks like it's dark in the uh, this first tube. Yeah, is that one open filament? Is it cold? Ah, oh wow. Never forget to wiggle the tubes. I wonder if maybe the video output tube is not. There's another one that looks like it's down too. No, that one's hot. Okay, yeah, okay. No, the in the metal shield? That one's hot. No, th yeah, that one there. That one's hot, man. Okay. That one's... Ooh, you bumped the... Careful, you're right up against the high voltage lead. And, um... Adjust the horizontal frequency up a little bit. It's way too low. Maxed out. Yeah, I bet this ion trap got moved when you when you loaded it in the truck or something. So I'm going to move it around and see if we can... Oh, that's it. 
You got something. Yep. It's not much, but it's, yeah, there you go. What's that, the uh, trap? That's moving the ion trap. Okay. Yeah, you can see the yoke is... Right. What got you? The yoke. Okay, so we got the v, v, VHS is rolling. I think I can manage that. I'm starting to get something. I think we're going to get it. Horizontal is way off. Where's the horizontal? You know what, man? It, it just. I'll do my best. I can <laughs> turn the horizontal and kind of get it to lock, but you can tell the picture's there, but it's just not going to work with all those wax caps. You're going to have to change all of those. It's never going to sink and it's never going to work until all of those get changed. Okay. But you know, the CRT looks really strong. I just said, no, like a wing nut. I mean, you can see it's, you know. One on either side. Can we try the AGC or not?